I just went to see Black Widow. Yeah, the film that we've been waiting for for, it seems like, forever. Um, was it worth the wait? Yes, I think it was. Um, it was actually really good. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Very funny in bits. Um, it's got, it held the, uh, the Marvel humour. Um, then, so, right, so obviously, yeah, this film takes place between Infinity War and um, Civil War. Um, it takes place between those two films. Because obviously, um, spoiler alert, uh, obviously Black Widow doesn't make it past Endgame. Um, but, yeah, I mean, could this film have been released, you know, before Infinity War? Should it have been released before Infinity War? I think it should have been. Um, uh, I'd say, I mean, it just seems odd having it now. I mean, it doesn't, that doesn't take away from the film itself. I mean, the film is good. Um, but it just seems like weird in the timeline aspect of things. Um, obviously, being an MCU film, there is an end credit scene. So stick around for that. Um, but to make sense of that end credit scene, you need to make sure you have seen Falcon and the Winter Soldier, for sure. Um, because the end credit scene has a character show up that has something to do with that. So, yeah. Check that series out then if you want to know what's going on there. I mean, I enjoyed that series. That was a good series. So, yeah, um, recommend that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, yeah, um, it was good to see um, David Harbour being a superhero. A Guardian. He was very funny. I mean, David Harbour's always funny. Um, Scarlett Johansson's, obviously, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow is just fantastic. She does a really good job. Um, the girl who plays the Elena... I can't remember the actress's name off the top of my head right now. Um, so yeah, leave her name in the comments. I can't remember her, but she's great. She's really, really, really good. Like, I can't wait to see her take over um, the mantle. Um, then, who else is there? you got uh, Rachel Wise as well, um, playing Maylena. Um, she's really good. Um, you got Ray Winston. Um, in there um, as the, the the villain very good um, taskmaster that's probably the one thing that was a bit of a letdown for me um, just regards to um, his, his origins they, they changed the origins for this film um, but yeah that I won't say anything more about that because it's spoilers that is there um, if I talk about it anyway, so yeah, uh, so yeah, so there's that. Um, that's probably the one thing that let, I think was a letdown. Um, the the action was all brilliant. Like, I mean, there's some really, really, really good action sequences. Um, there was there's only a couple of moments which I thought um, were a bit like you know. Um, like sort of dull moments. Um, otherwise though, all round, you know, I thought it was pretty good, pretty solid MCU film. Just like I say, it just seems weird to have it now. It should have been on, we should have had this before Infinity War, really. Because um, uh, yeah, it just, yeah. But but I have heard recently that Kevin Feige, um, sorry, you can't hear me because Buddy's going mad behind me at the moment. Um, Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, so yeah, but yeah, recently Kevin Feige has said that he wants to work with Scarlett Johansson some more. So there is potential for us to see a bit more of Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. I mean, it's comic book lore. I mean, everybody knows if you die in comic books, you're not really dead. You can come back. So yeah, and because they're starting to mess with things with Doctor Strange film and like Wonder Vision and the um, Spider-Man film. Um, with the multiverse and everything, so that's going to be uh, probably there's going to be like p potential to pull characters back in and stuff. I mean, I still haven't watched Loki. Um, the reason I haven't bothered is because I'm just going to wait for it all to be available on Disney Plus, and then I'm just going to watch all six episodes and do a complete review of it all. Like um, I know I was going to do like try and do like, the breakdowns like I was doing with Falcon and Soldier, but I've been busy. Um, like I say, I mean, I've, I've got some 
new stuff going on. I mean, I am now the producer of the show Karaoke Geeks for the Latino Slant for Paulie. Um, I'll leave a card up to his um, channel there, so click on that and go and subscribe to him and maybe become, become a member because I tell you, best perks ever. Um, uh, so yeah, and so yeah, I've been busy with that, and um, me and Julie are trying to plan this move sort of thing, like for me come to America at some point and yeah it's, it's a lot of planning going into that so and I've got lots of bits of work on as well like you know like so the life of a freelancer <laughs> but anyway uh, so yeah anyway it's enough waffling on about that you don't need to hear about my life do you so yeah um, okay yeah so would I what, what, what would I give um, Black Widow out of stars I'll give it a solid three and a half stars yeah three and a half stars it's not a superb film but it's definitely really good, um, definitely really good, um, oh, but I don't think it warrants four stars really. Oh no, three and a half, three and a half. Like I said, was, the, the Taskmaster thing for me was, took away the, four, the, the half star to give it a four star. If they stuck, if they stuck with the Taskmaster origin or, or, like, or at least close to, <laughs> then, um, then yeah, that would have been cool. Um, but yeah, I think that the, yeah, they, they could have done better with that character. They could have done better with that character. So anyway, three and a half stars. I recommend going and checking it out at the cinema uh, because it's just it's a good popcorn film, like I say. And if you follow the MCU and you like the Black Widow character, this is a good. Um, this is the film that she deserved, that her character deserved, um, definitely. Uh, so yeah, go and check it out. That's my review. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. So uh, I hope you're happy. I hope you're all looking after it yourselves. Uh, be sure to, like I say, check out Latino Slant. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video as well. Um, and then come and join us for karaoke gigs on a Friday night. Like, you know, it's good fun. And obviously check out all Paulie's other content because it's great stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep trying to do some videos and stuff like that. Like, But, you know, like I say, busy, busy, busy. Um, but, yeah, just, just remember, I love all you subscribers. I love you all. You're all brilliant. And if you're not a subscriber, click subscribe. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I will have some more fun stuff coming, and like I say, I'm going to start doing maybe a bit more real life, my life stuff, especially with this stuff that's coming up with this America thing and whatever else. So, but uh, yeah, watch this space. I don't know. It's all it's all, it's all, it's all ideas. I've got so many ideas. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll stop talking now. Anyway, look after yourselves. Love you all. Peace and love.